So, uh, come to you today with uh, just a bit of an interesting story, I guess, uh, more than anything else. Um, you know that old saying, you know, you say, so-and-so is so fat, how fat are they? So-and-so is so stupid, how stupid are they? I think today this applies to uh, AOC. Um, Alexandria Occasional Cortex, I think is her name, uh, or Ocasio Keyboard, I can't really remember what it is. But anyway, AOC for, for short. So basically what happened is there is this, uh, this billionaire, I believe his name is Robert Smith, if I'm not mistaken, I may be off on that. Uh, there was a billionaire that went to Morehouse University and gave a, a commencement speech. And when he was done with the speech, he said that he was going to pay off the student debt of the entire 2019 graduating class. Now, this is obviously a really, really cool thing for a whole lot of people. Um, he's rich, uh, thanks to capitalism, uh, and he gets to do what he wants with his money, and he decided he wanted to help some other people, which is just really cool. I mean, that's just a really cool aspect of, of being able to, uh, you know, have money. You can do with it what you want, and uh, many people decide to do something charitable, even if they can't, uh, you know, pay off an entire school student debt. You know, a lot of people like to do things with their money that benefit others. Charity is a, is a big deal in the United States. I mean, we are the most charitable nation in the world, period. In fact, uh, just the people of the United States, just individual citizens, give more money to charity, okay? And I'm not talking about the government and what the government does with its tax money. I'm talking about individuals in the United States give more money to charity than the entire rest of the world combined on a yearly basis. That's just a fact. We are a, a very charitable nation by and large. Uh, sure, there's some people that aren't, and that's fine. That's your call. But uh, overall, we are. Uh, but what's funny about this is AOC decided uh, twice now, uh, once via a tweet and once in an interview, to praise this thing that happened and say it was a good thing and talk about how this is really cool and then of course she went on to try and say we could twist it into a, you know, an experiment on how these people's lives go uh, going forward with their debt paid off and all this kind of other stuff um, but twice now via tweet and in an interview and it it just makes me wonder AOC how stupid are you? I mean we are talking about the individual that sits there and has on multiple occasions talked about how evil the one percent are, how, talked about how there's class warfare and there's these billionaires that are taking money away from the poor people and how people with money are keeping other people down and how capitalism is wrong and evil and we should be more socialist and Green New Deal and all this other stuff and yet you're praising a great thing that happened exactly because of capitalism. I don't know what to say. It's 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 insanely hypocritical. It's very, very stupid, quite honestly. I don't think she's smart enough to understand what she's doing. I really do think she is that um, ignorant. Uh, I think she uh, has a low IQ. I'm not trying to be insulting here. I'm trying to be honest. Um, I think she is just not an intelligent individual. And it becomes very clear when she speaks. It becomes very, very clear when she says stupid stuff like this. So, AOC, how stupid is she? I'll let you decide that on your own.